Matt, great to see you again today here at Rico and Rich. Uh, thanks for having us today and opening the doors to MTD CNC. Now, Matt, I'm going to start with you really. How has additive manufacturing changed the way in which we're bringing new products to market? I think additive opens up a, a variety of, of new options in the way the products are innovated and the whole speed to market of new product innovation has, has completely transformed with the, um, with the kind of growth of additive manufacturing. Actually, it's fantastic to be here today at Rico because we have a, an example of this right in front of us. Rico um, fantastically managed to win a, a, a TCT Healthcare Application Award last year for the work that they've done with um, Oswald Street Hospital uh, to, to develop this, this component, this solution that we're actually standing in front of. So Rich, maybe you're the, you're the right guy actually to, uh, to introduce this solution and, and how you brought this to market. Now Rich, uh, tell us all about it please. Yeah, so we supported uh, our friends at uh, All Eye, which is based at the Oswaldshire Hospital uh, in the, uh, the development of this product. And basically bringing a, an old product, an old NHS product uh, into the you know, into modern a modern day with using 3D printing. Uh, this is a rehabilitation device, uh, and it's all about improving the patient's experience, uh, but also uh, helping the rehabilitation engineer uh, as well to diagnose and, and and offer a rehabilitation solution to that to that patient. And you know, 3D printing central to that. Well, congratulations on this award, and it's such a good cause as well, isn't it? Great application. Um, Matt, you know, with software, people wouldn't necessarily assume that, that software lends itself or has got place in an additive manufacturing market. How does your software help um, with applications such as this? I think when we talk about new product introduction, one of the really critical factors is how well you can collaborate and communicate with your, with your customer, if that's an internal customer or somebody outside your business, and then how you actually manage that product being produced afterwards. And Rico are a fantastic example of how they've looked at that challenge, taken on IMFG, implemented it, but actually pushed the product really hard to, to offer an outstanding MPI solution to, um, to customers in a variety of sectors. Rich, finally really, how fast is additive manufacturing technology and innovation evolving as we speak? It's evolving every day. Every day we're hearing of new technologies, new developments, new applications and you know every day is a school day and it's, it's, it's impossible to keep on top of to be honest with you. Richard, uh, Matt, it's been an absolute pleasure today. Thank you very much.